Hey everyone, here's a little update on the uh, Eco 610 balance charger. Um, I've actually got it to, so far, charge at 10 amp uh, for 4 cell, which is 168 watt of the 200. Now if we look at the uh, temperatures here, it's at 136, so it's 4 degrees from cutoff. It's getting pretty damn hot. Um, charging a uh, 10,000 milliamp, so 1C rating. It's been running for 19 minutes, which is way more than it has before. The key is my input voltage is at 17.66. Now the problem with that is my power supply, which I had to uh, modify because they the 18 volt versions are very expensive. So this is a 24 volt version. Uh, changed out the potentiometer so that I can drop it down. This now will go all the way from 6. 0.5 volt up to 30 and it's a 350 watt <coughs> so this is working it's almost to the balance stage now there it goes so it actually made it through one charge from storage on a 10,000 milliamp well almost made it let's see it's at 60 it's 140 so it's gonna start its thermal cutoff right there. So you can hear it whining, uh, which is pretty annoying in these chargers. Uh, it's getting ready to balance everything out. And yeah, we'll see uh, how this goes. Another interesting thing that I've noticed is uh, even though on HobbyKing.com, this website that they advertise right here, it says that you can calibrate this by using the specific uh, key codes to power it up. That is a complete lie because you cannot do that. When I got these, tried doing the calibration to get my uh, uh, balance ports and everything calibrated exactly, and it does not let you calibrate it. Even though on the website um, they have instructions on how to and people have uploaded instructions, it does not let you do that. So. When you get one, hopefully the voltage is correct. Um, luckily, the one that I blew up a few days ago, um, the voltages were way off on it. It was actually charging. Um, it would say that the cells were at a 4.2 per cell, when really they were at like 4.12, um, and it wouldn't ever go above that. So quite a bit of power that wasn't ever being uh, put into the battery. But uh, up next I'll be actually seeing how much this is going to draw from here and the uh, input wire is actually doing a little bit better now um, because of the higher voltage so less amperage going through this um, so that's doing good but this thing's still extremely hot uh, let's see here one more time I was at 54 now so not too bad, 129, so it's cooling down now that it's getting to the uh, uh, balance cycle. But another thing that I modified is this fan is directly connected to the input voltage. So this fan that uh, originally ran at I think 15 volt uh, is running at 17, so not sure how well the fan will do. Um, but it is holding out, and I have had it running at up to uh, 24 volt fan runs fine. They have a software limit uh, on this that doesn't allow 24 volt. As soon as you get to 18.1 it'll say voltage error and shut off. Which is a pain because as soon as this stops uh, charging you'll see that this is now at 17.728 once this uh, keeps decreasing the this I have set to as close as I could to 18 volt. I think it's at like 17.9. Um, but when it starts decreasing on load, it has a chance of going a little higher on the voltage. Um, so, and that can trip it. And then this thing will just shut off and say input voltage error. Um, which is pretty annoying that they set it like that. Um, it should have a little variance. If they say 18 volt for the input, then it should have software setting, especially because the, all the hardware supports over 24 volt. Uh, I think the the smallest capacitor I saw in here was 36. 
um, for that. Some of the um, other components may be limited, but everything ran at 24 volt on my other one, uh, completely fine. But all we have to do here is uh, if they up the firmware to even 19 volt, it would be great because then you can run uh, everything at 17.5 uh, to 18.5 and uh, provide much better uh, power for it. So it's now uh, in the balance phases so we'll see uh, hopefully how it does here and still not able to get 200 watts out of this thing because at the 168 it's already overheating so this magical number will not be reached no matter what you do um, it's just not gonna happen so still a blatant lie on their part this is definitely not a 200 watt this should be rated as 150 watt because at 168 it almost touched the thermal shutoff so maybe you could charge it 200 watt for about two minutes that might work but overall this is not a 200 watt charger uh, you can get to 168 watt if you run at um, anything over 16.8 volt for 4 cell. So if you're running at your charge voltage, you could get close to this, but you're not going to get up to 200 watt. That's just not going to happen. So hopefully this uh, helps people out, and uh, if you guys want to see how I modified this, I'll definitely post some videos uh, later on it and uh, where I got it. So we'll see. And my video is already getting choppy, so I guess it is time to stop. Check back later for more videos. Thanks for watching.